Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> How are you guys? So I'm back here right now, and in this video we're gonna um, we're gonna create some animations to the left and right. Actually, I already create the right animation here. Okay, you guys can see you you guys can see here if you hit play. You see, he's flying to the right, but I'm gonna create this to the left now. But I'm not gonna be creating this video because we already created this before, and I will. I'm gonna use the same the same things the only difference here now it's I bought a U Motion Pro you know like I told you before I already have the U Motion Pro and this project I'm gonna be using the U Motion Pro but it's exactly the same thing okay the same thing the reason I'm gonna use the U Motion Pro is because you can import some clips okay so if you have opportunity and buy it you can go here and example I have this idol you see the idol flying and I make a copy of this one I just duplicate this one and rename for idol copy just that okay see idol copy okay I go back here in the clip editor you know the same thing window U motion clip editor and pose editor um, actually I gonna open this with you guys because some people's sometimes they, they forgot how to do it and will be hard for you to go and find a class for this you know so let me sh let me show you here clip editor is right here I gonna put it close to the console now so I gonna go here U motion editor pose editor the pose editor yeah I gonna let this for now file here new project humanoid and let's choose any Random name for this, blah, blah blah blah. Okay, gone. And take the player, drag and drop and name, name game object here, non game object. And now we just put the player there. Create configuration, and now the player is here, and it create for us the bonds. You see that? Remember that, right? Okay. Now I'm gonna go in file, import clips, and this window will show up here for us. Um, I'm gonna click uh, click here on add clips animations I'm gonna open the folder we already created animations my animations idle copy open import okay select okay so now if you hit the play see the character is flying because we import the animation okay we import the animation idle Fine. Remember, we create that before. But now I'm gonna stop this, and I will zoom out. You just scroll backwards the mouse button, and then you select all of these guys. You delete it, delete this one, delete this one. Just keep this first one. And here, to fly to the left, we're gonna lean his body a little bit like. No, I'm just kidding. Whoops. Okay. <laughs> we just select the middle bone here you see this one here because this bone control all of the other bones here you lean a little bit to the left okay and now you take this bone up here and you turn a little bit like this you go here and turn his head a little bit and put it up like this okay take his arm and put it back a little bit open this arm a little bit like this put this other arm just down like this a little bit okay and mm, let me see this bone here you see the the this bone here in his leg you're gonna select it open just a little bit like this and this one you turn a little bit like this and it's pretty much that you select this bone control a hit return and key all okay you can move this a little bit control e whoops select the bond control e hit return and key all okay so now you have this one control c and you go like here control v you can delete this first one for now select the very first one here you put it here like i told you guys before if you select this or this one will be selecting different bonds you see 
leg here left leg rotation left of left up leg or left leg you see left foot you see so we don't want to do that we select here and this make we select all of it and now you can go in the middle and in the middle you just change a little bit remember if you open you make sure you close this one a little bit if you close this one a little bit you open this one a little bit see if you put forward you push this one backwards a little bit why I do that because this way you're gonna create the kind of effect that the character is actually you know like interacting with the air around you know and you close this just a little bit like this and put the head a little bit whoop, nope you put the head like a little bit backwards okay so it's pretty much that and you hit here select Ctrl A to select all return key all okay so now you can select loop see loop time and you hit the play so he will be moving like this but this is kind of fast um, you can go down here Ctrl A select all of it and slide to the right a little bit and make it a little bit slower you see it's slower as much as you pull it oops let me Ctrl Z select Ctrl E as much as you pull it like bigger it's gonna be slowly you see slowly you see this slowly you see that right okay instead I make this big I'm gonna make like this let's see okay and that's enough um, you can go here file export export settings let's change this name uh, this is fly idle copy I'm gonna put fly right just that and here select the folder to save it's already my animations select folder close it and then you go back here fly, file <laughs> fly I always say that file export current clip and that's it we export the current clip and now we have idle fly right and this will be fly let me drag and drop this here so this is the idle this is the fly I name it wrong <laughs> it was supposed to be fly left fly left okay and this is with the idle fly forward fly forward I didn't like a lot this it's look like so weird but I can fix it later fly fast so idle left and idle copy so in this case here I gonna go back here let me try to do another thing um, let me try to select this bone uh, and then you just hit E to rotate if you make this will be wrong you see if you move like if you press W you're gonna move the forward or you see so ctrl Z ctrl Z to come back to the same position it was before hit E and then you can rotate see you can rotate the character you can select this bone here you make he look that direction actually I'm gonna hit this bone again and make like this a little bit not too much here you can rotate the leg like this and pull it up like this and then you take this and put it down I said before that I, I'm not gonna record everything but there's no another way I, now I'm gonna do like this is better see and put it down this arm here gonna pull it down a little bit his head I'm gonna make him look up and forward like this this arm I'm gonna put down and just open a little bit like this turn his arm like this <coughs> so I'm gonna make his arm like this you see a little bit like this and this one just a little bit up and his hand like this and 
Yeah, it's pretty much that. For me, it's fine like this. Now you can hit Ctrl A, key all, hit return. I don't know why it's not working. Ctrl A, return. Okay, we need to apply. Let's apply first. Keep modifications. Okay, now we can do that. Actually, let me. Do one other thing here. Keep modifications. Country A. Sometimes it, it doesn't work really, really correct. I'm gonna see it and I'm gonna tell you. So for some reason it wasn't working correctly, so I just decide to <laughs> restart it. Sometimes it you see it, sometimes it messes it up a little bit, but now I'm gonna just select it's the same process, just put it here, take this here, make it look forward a little bit, take his head and put it down like this and make like lean like a little bit, put his arm back like this, open this arm a little bit pull forward I'm gonna take his hands now and pull it like this a little bit turn his arm a little bit this one I turn a little bit here put it like this and I like to switch the legs when he's flying in different positions this is a like I don't know why but I like to do it like this way <laughs> you guys can choose by yourself like I told you before I like to open this leg here put this one down and that's pretty much that actually it's too open let me actually put this one just a little bit down like this and put this one close like that and put this down and that's it now I'm gonna hit the pawn here in the middle Ctrl A hit this let me see Ctrl C and put here Ctrl V this open a little bit put here in the middle again uh, yeah. okay let's see <laughs> now I'm gonna make he kind of breathing a little bit I'm gonna pull this arm back this other one forward this one a little bit back and this I open a little bit this leg I put backward this one I put forward actually this one I'm gonna put almost nothing this one I put down and forward a little bit and I just lean his body a little bit like this okay I think it's enough if you hit the loop and play he'll be like this see actually here I'm gonna open this leg just a little bit like this and also here I'm gonna open the leg a little bit and just turn and the very last one I'm gonna turn a little bit here and put it like this okay I think now it's fine okay let's see hit the play Yeah, it's okay. It's like that, and then we can create another. You can create another way too. It's okay. So export, export settings. I'm gonna change this name for fly right. Uh, okay, great. Exist fly right two, <laughs> and then we go back here. It's already in my animation. Close it here. Export current clip okay now we have fly idle 
Let's check it. Idle. Fly right. Fly left. See? And this is the fly idle copy. It will be the same position like the idle. Fly forward and fly fast. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the animator. Fly right. We need to select the loop. Fly left. Select the loop too. And we put the left here. And we're gonna put the right here. So now we, we, we put like let's make this organized a little bit. Put this one here and this other one here. I made something wrong here and probably I delete the flying backwards, but I'm gonna remake this by hand and it's fine, you guys can keep your own. Alright, we put this one here, this one and this Okay, got Okay, guys. Here, um, I recreate the animation flying back. Okay, here this flying back because I unfortunately I deleted, but I just recreated it again. So I'm not gonna make a transition here and transition back. Okay, and this transition uh, has no exit time. The same thing like before. Fix the duration, point one, and fly move the grade this one will be let me see let me see let me see let's put less than zero because when it's zero he became an idle flying and and this one has no exit time fixed duration no dot one point one and here we're gonna put greater than minus zero dot one okay and let's see one thing let's test this out okay so if I hit fly he's flying if I put back he's backwards forward forward and forward okay <laughs> so now it's kind of weird a little bit because sometimes he's switching to the flying to the left and flying to the right so I'm gonna put this here actually let me select all these guys put in the middle okay here let's create another thing Here we're gonna create a. We're not gonna create float. We're gonna create int. Okay. Let's call this. Um, let's see. Fly left. Okay. Fly left, and let's create another int. Let's call this fly right. Let's rename this and make it left fly left and fly right so let's put number one number one in here I'm gonna delete this delete this and delete this one because we're gonna use the idle to be the reference for everything and make it transition and make it transition and make it transition back and make transition back let's start here idle to fly left has no exit time no fixed duration dot one here let me close this for now and here we're gonna select to fly left here will be equals one okay equals one we do this to come back has no exit time, fixed duration. Um, dot one, and here we select. Let me see here if I'm gonna select the uh, one sec. So here we're gonna put in the flying left. When we, if we are in idle and fly fly idle, we set the fly left equals one. Okay. And flying back, fly left to fly idle. We're gonna select the fly move greater than uh, minus 0 0.1, and here will be the same from the right, no exit, fix it, no 
just put dot one select here fly move greater than minus dot zero minus zero dot one okay the same thing like here and from fly idle to fly right we have has no exit time we just un we just uncheck this box here fixed duration we're not gonna have a fixer uh, fixed duration um, we have no fixed duration transition duration will be dot one and here we're gonna select fly right equals one because we set up we set up one here so now we're gonna go back to the script and here will be the secret joy move horizontal when is greater than seven let me see we don't need greater than seven we can just put greater than one we're going to do this we set up we have to put the same name like here fly right okay fly right you can actually click and click again ctrl c and we're gonna go here set integer fly move gonna be fly right and we set up this for we just put number one okay and this will be for the fly horizontal okay joy move fly horizontal greater than zero one I also gonna let this script available for you guys because when you're doing this like now I'm doing <laughs> right now <laughs> because I wanna show you guys how we do the games how we do the things because people think we're just gonna be able you know like create something blah 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 control 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 no 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 it's not like that this is not reality okay we need to think about the things because in the future it's gonna affect the whole project okay <laughs> so let's take this one control x to cut and control v a bunch of euros we're gonna show here for us now i just comment all of it remove the or okay so now we have joy move horizontal okay we also need a parenthesis here okay and now we're gonna take this guy here because we already made it greater than and now we need to make less than okay and here we're gonna take put this down here we're gonna go in front this else if parenthesis inside this parenthesis control V and we put the joystick horizontal and we put down here okay like this and we can do the same thing for this guy here for the vertical control C because if the vertical is greater see here horizontal greater horizontal less than horizontal vertical less than okay now we put else if parenthesis control V to paste it and we open this okay now we have to set up all of these guys here so here we put if it's greater than zero one, we'll fly right, right? So I can just copy it and paste it here because greater than zero one, fly right, right? <laughs> and less than, let's change this for one, minus zero dot one, here gonna fly left, right? We just need to check if we are writing, like writing like this because if we write different than this name we set up here we're gonna got some errors errors okay and now let's go back here greater than zero one fly right less than minus zero dot one fly left um, else if joint move vertical greater than zero seven now we need to put 
back here but instead set integer we have set float right will be basically the same like you can actually cope from this one here and paste it okay here we need to check because when it's going vertical if it's one actually if it's seven we need to check because we have two different movements this is just going forward would be greater than one and here greater than, greater than five and all of them is flight move so to make this organized you need to go in vertical greater than seven fly move we're gonna put number zero dot six float because this zero dot six will be this one here greater than zero dot five it's gonna make it fly fast and now we need to duplicate the same thing because we need to put this one here and we're gonna put greater than 0 0.1 okay so we can we if we put number 2 there we're gonna work correctly okay we just cope this part of the code again and paste it down here instead we say here um, instead be 7 okay we can just put number 1 and here we put number 2 so now we have all the directions we need remember we just put one movement to the to the left and one movement to the right one moving one movement to the back but when we're doing forward we did two different movements forward and fly fast okay so this is why I have to duplicate and make the same so here is flying to the right flying flying to the right flying to the left and here flying vertical super fast and flying vertical like flying up when we move the joystick up flying forward just the flying normal the regular one flying forward okay flying vertical less than zero one this is when we we move backwards and we set up this to zero minus 0 0.3 okay and else if uh, let me see one thing here else if joystick horizontal I uh, we need to fix this part too because here we are we already we already call this here let me see and I'll come back in few sec okay okay guys so here in this part here we don't need this part anymore on the on the script okay I can just control X and I paste down here you see <laughs> because we don't need that anymore and now we just go here and save let's go back to the unit here in the unit we're gonna have some EORs okay let's see what is that I just gonna clean it for now and let's hit the play and let's see what's going on so now when we hit fly you see if you fly forward it go flying forward flying fast or flying backwards you see but if you try you see this bug is will, will keep happening now because the anim the animator here look I'm gonna split the screen here and let me go back here assets animation animator control and flying Something sometimes it gives some errors here, okay? I don't know why, but this is some problem inside a unit because sometimes it doesn't show here, but it's okay. So now what we need to do is we need to go back here in the script, okay? Let's close this one here because I don't use this anymore. Um, okay, we go back here in the script. Here we put my animation set integer flight right one right so we're gonna take it ctrl c and we're gonna paste it here ctrl v and we take the flying left ctrl c and put it down here ctrl v okay instead we let number one so basically it's like that um flying right instead we let one 
we're gonna put this and put number zero here okay and here number zero okay and we save it and let's go back to the unit and here in animation and major controller flying when we stop to flying left right here we put flying move greater than minus right so we're gonna add another thing here we're gonna add a left and this time we're gonna put equals zero and here we're gonna add again another condition and we're gonna put flying right equals zero okay because here when the joystick here if the joystick is different than zero that means if the joystick is not stopped okay we're going to do this movements else right because if it's not zero we're gonna be moving if or mean else if we're not moving if it's zero if it equals zero we're gonna set this to zero zero and the float to move zero that means the character will jump back to the animation to the idle animation let's hit the play and let's see here is the the character now if we hit the fly and we go to the left we go to the right we go back we move forward and we move fast see fast or just you see this cool right and that's it so I'm gonna finish this class right now and I see you guys in the next video okay thank you very much I hope you enjoyed this video and that's it if you have some doubts or something just comment down there and I'm gonna answer you okay thank you guys